hey, I want to take you on a real quick tour of some of the nice new capabilities inside of uh, Office 365. And uh, first and foremost, uh, as you see across the uh, top of the screen here, we do have Outlook, Calendar, People, uh, Yammer for Enterprise Social, News Feeds, et cetera, SkyDrive, Sites, and I am an administrator, but uh, most end users won't see that. And right here, you notice that my uh, Jelly Bean or my Presence Indicator just switched to Available. You can have that to automatically sign you in or sign you out or uh, what's really uh, nice these days to peer offline if you're doing something like this video and you don't want to be disturbed but I'll switch that back to available and you can see that my jelly bean here did uh, appear and it's green showing me available but if somebody wants to contact me from anywhere in email uh, they can find my uh, contact information my phone numbers etc so um, very quick and easy to get around another thing that you'll notice over here to the left and again I am using Outlook web access so without any application installed whatsoever or on a uh, kiosk machine etc I can get to my mail and you will see that there was a draft of this message I could go ahead and send that but I'm also seeing a uh, urgent email uh, with the uh, important email message uh, uh, indicator showing here. And with office.com apps, you'll see that two apps fired off due to content in this message. The first one is the Bing Maps app, and these are downloadable and installable from office.com. Uh, shows that there's an address in this email, and now I can interact this with, it, with this. So if I wanted to zoom out and look for my address and say, gosh, can I make it from home to this Starbucks near the office by 9 o'clock? Um, yeah, I absolutely can. And again, you're seeing that I can interact with this, zoom in, zoom out. The other uh, application that fired off here, so that one fired because of the address. This one is firing because of the appointed time. It says Friday at 9 a.m. And I can go ahead and schedule a meeting very quickly and easily. So just by clicking the schedule a meeting, again, I can be on a kiosk machine. And I can even, through the beauty of this online meeting, add my online meeting information for Link Online. So not only can I show my presence and quickly instant message with folks, but I can have um, meetings, and this is all done through Outlook Web Access. I also wanted to show you that there are great new uh, feature function capabilities with the calendar, and I can open other people's calendars. And uh, if I'm leveraging calendar federation that's built into Office 365, I can federate with other users so people outside of my organization can see my free busy time if I so allow them to, or I can see their free busy time. Uh, if if uh, they desire, and we can drag and drop meetings right between one another. I also have this great people tab here, so I can see all the people in my organization, their nice pictures, but I can extend this outward again and connect to, say, LinkedIn or Facebook, Yammer social feeds, so uh, news feeds, so I can get updates, see who's following me, follow other users, keep in touch uh, very quickly and easily. And then something that's all the rage these days uh, is SkyDrive Pro, and SkyDrive Pro allows me to uh, share content inside or outside the organization. So you'll see I've got some things here that are um, shared with uh, a few people or shared with many people. And then I've got a folder that's um, shared with everybody. Uh, so my public documents reside in that folder. And I can apply information rights management on this folder uh, to keep uh, you know, secure information secure and not falling into the wrong hands. And then finally, uh, while I've shown you everything from a kiosk or a machine with that didn't even have Office installed on it, um, if I need Excel, PowerPoint, or Word, I can quickly install these applications. And then once I log out, those feature function capabilities will be uh, removed, which is really nice. To show you some of the other exciting feature function capabilities of Office 365, SharePoint, and Excel and Word. So let's jump off with uh, SharePoint site here, and then we'll get into some of the exciting Excel features. One of the things you'll notice, like if you had a uh, team communication you wanted to send out, make sure everybody is aware of like a presentation, in this case, Contoso Electronics expansion into Denver. Um, we can see who that's all about, what's all about, what's going on, team, uh, and even a video within that PowerPoint will play up there on the screen in just a second. So pretty cool. I've got my KPIs over here, and then uh, I do have a um, 
uh, document that I wanted to take a look at in uh, one of our customer sites here. So uh, inside of our team marketing, I've got a project timeline for this Northwind Trader deal. And I've got a marketing and sales spend analysis here. It's the ability to edit in the web app. If I'm on a kiosk, view it in the web app or edit it in uh, Excel, which is what I'm going to do here. So let's uh, take a look at this uh, sheet in Excel. Uh, one of the neat new features that I love a lot is called Flash Fill. So I see I've got this kind of uh, date, some data and amount, and then it says rep and category. And I've kind of got the reps and categories all munched together in this middle column. This happens quite frequently. Uh, I know it does to me. But I'm going to type in John, and then I'm going to type in Jenny, and you'll see that this column of data actually filled in. So once I hit return, it fills in with all those uh, rep names. Uh, similarly, over here, I can say, yep, these are some... Uh, events uh, and then I've got my advertising and as soon as I started typing ADV uh, Excel again was watching and said hey this is probably what you want uh, so that's called flash fill it's a very exciting thing and um, there's another exciting thing here called power view and power view gives us the ability to not only now map geographically information on a geo map um, but I can also display this information over time uh, so you're seeing uh, things as they look over time, and I can pull out a particular column, like maybe I just want to view just the uh, A datum cameras and camcorders information, and you'll see how that how those sales went over time uh, from month to month. Down. Take a look at uh, some exciting new things with Word. So right here, uh, first and foremost, I click this document and open right up. I want to edit this document. I can edit it in the Word web app, just as I did with that Excel document. And it will open up, and I've got some nice edit capabilities. So I can come in here and change the font, change the size, change the style if that's what I want. But I don't have an ability to, um, for example, I can change again this font font and, and content, but I can't change the smart art. Uh, and then maybe I want to do something like um, insert a table uh, from another document out here. So I'm just going to click on uh, open this in Word, and then this will fire up and launch Word. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do, you will see a nice little flag here. Hey, welcome back. Pick up where you left off. Took me right to that artwork where, where I left off uh, in smart art. So maybe I want to uh, take my smart art here and change it to something that looks a little bit uh, more modern. And then down here towards the bottom of this uh, document, I saw a little um, uh, comparison chart that was actually in a uh, portable document format document, a PDF. So I want to grab this uh, information right here, the television feature comparison, and copy that back to my Word, and I'm going to paste that right in. Uh, and man, that's really not what I want. Uh, but um, there's a neat new capability. This is the same PDF I opened a second ago. I can now open that with uh, Word. So Word will actually open this document. It's called PDF Reflow. I can scroll to the bottom of this uh, page and grab that television feature comparison and copy and paste that now just as exactly as it looked uh, in the original uh, in my original document. So now I'm going to paste that right in and there we have it. Again, PDF reflow will save you a lot of time and uh, effort.